What is up guys? Uh, back at it again with this designer cardboard and today I'm actually coming at you guys with a fluffle deck profile. Um, this deck is so much fun. Uh, it's fairly consistent. Uh, at one point in time, this was kind of a contender. Um, however, it fell off because, you know, uh, the links uh, made the fusions, the fusions for this deck very hard to get out. Um, so the deck was basically dead, but now with MR5, Master Rule 5, uh, this deck is back. And uh, I'm excited to play this at locals. Uh, and just as I'm, I'm excited to showcase you guys this deck profile. So let's just get right into it. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, the deck has a straddles in the form of uh, Fluffle Dog. Fluffle Dog will search any Fluffle monster or an edge of Sabers. So uh, this card is the, the straddles, the Lady Debug for the deck. Uh, so I definitely want to see this. Uh, and this his effect goes off if it's normal or special summon. So just keep that in mind uh, because it does come up when you combo it with this following card right here, uh, Fluffle Penguin. Uh, what Fluffle Penguin does is when this card is, uh, uh, you, okay, so it's once during your main phase, you get to special summon one Fluffle monster from your hand. Um, it's not on summon, it's just like during your main phase. Also, what, uh, why this card is also good is when you use it for a fusion material, which you do a lot, uh, you can draw two and then discard one, and that is very good. Uh, so penguin is definitely like my in my opinion the better fluffle in the deck um better than Estratos because uh it just it just enables combos uh fluffle bear uh okay so this card i'm being considered of cutting it uh to two but just three for now um uh, i don't know i might end up cutting it though uh the reason for it is because this card will actually by discarding it, it can set you a toy bender which is a very good card for the deck um i don't like it at three but i don't know i'm just testing it out for now uh because it sets it and i feel like that would be too slow in today's games uh where i could just replace it for something like even like a single hand trap or anything would like probably be better than three copies of this card uh however for now i'm using three just for just to see toy bender uh yeah and then we have one of okay this one i love because it has a donut like come on as if it has a donut and it's level one which is a good target for uh i believe one for one yeah it's called one for one yeah one for one uh what this card does is when it's normal a special summon uh oh no it's during main phase sorry uh you could just you get two special summon up to two copies of fluffle mouse so if you use one for one for this card, oh, you'll just plus like crazy, uh, which is always nice. You know, it's always nice to plus in this game. Uh, however, when you when you do when you do use this effect, uh, you can only special summon five for monsters, which uh, two thirds of your extra deck is full full uh, fright first, so it doesn't really matter for you. Um, let's see. But then we have two. Fluffle Owls, this card is a card that when it's normal or special summon, you get to add a polymerization. Uh, and then its effect, built-in effect, is pay 500 and this card becomes a polymerization, uh, which is very nice. And it's just two of, uh, uh, not a three of because uh, you don't need three of this card. Two is just perfectly fine in my opinion. And then you have two uh, Fluffle Wings. Fluffle Wings is in here because of the interaction it has with Toy Bender. Uh, this card, you can uh, you activate it, this card in the graveyard by banishing it when you have a Toy Bender, and you activate it by banishing this card in another Fluffle Monster to, uh, I believe it's just draw a card. Yeah, it's just draw a card, and then if you send the Toy Bender, that's optional. You can draw an additional card, so it's a draw two card, uh, which is always nice, you know? Uh, it adds consistency to the deck once it's in the graveyard, and it has a very nice interaction with uh, Toy Banner, and I'll show you guys that later. Uh, Fluffle Octopus. So, a lot of your cards get banished, and this card is just a one-up because it basically just puts everything that you banish back into the graveyard. 
uh, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just nice to have. I mean, you don't need it. You can cut it if you would like to. But I just like having that one just to for recyclability. I like having options. All right, Fluffle Cat and Fluffle Sheep are the last two Fluffles. Um, Fluffle Cat is in here because uh, it could just help you recur polymerization from your graveyard and add it to your hand. Uh, that's only one reason why it's in here for. And then Fluffle Sheep is like kind of like the Falco of the deck. Uh, so if you control a Fluffle, it's just like you could special summon it, right? Uh, now, uh, when it's on the field, you can decide to bounce back a Fluffle monster and then uh, re Monster Reborn, a Fluffle or Agimp. Yeah, I believe it's another Agimp. Yeah. Agimp monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh, no, so it's not even Fluffle, it's just an Agimp. Yep. So, uh, that could help. Uh, in certain situations when you have, uh, for example, you have this card out and you have Fluffle Owl and you just want to have this card back into your hand just to use the next turn, uh, return it, and then bring back the Agimp. So that that's that's nice to have. Uh, and just a free special summon. That's always nice to have. Then we have uh, two Agimp Chains and then we have the one Agimp Savers. Savers, uh, it's just a one-off. I mean, it's searchable. Uh, the really actually good card for this deck, it's Agimp Chain, which lets you add uh, a, a Pfeiffer card from your deck to your hand. Um, when it's sent to the graveyard, so use it for a fusion, add a card from your deck to your hand. Uh, and then this one's just a, you know, revive itself from the graveyard, which is always nice. Um, but you, don't really, you really only need one of it though. So that's the ratio for that. Uh, Toy Bender is what's coming up next on our list. So Toy Bender. Uh, Toy Bender, very good interaction with uh, Wings. Uh, discard. You can discard a card, draw a card, show it, and if it's a fluffle, you can special summon it. If not, you just discard it. Uh, the real purpose why it's here for is that when it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a fluffle or an engine savers from your deck to your hand. Uh, so it's like the rota. Uh, now it com it it combines really good with wings because say you have both of these in your starting hand. Um, say you have both of these in your starting hand, uh, you can activate it discard this, draw whatever you have, uh, regardless if you got special summon or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, activate this card in the graveyard, banish this, and another Fluffle. Uh, draw a card, send this to the graveyard, draw another card, and then Toy Bender activates in graveyard where you get to add a Fluffle. So that's like, adds more consistors, uh, more layers of consistency to the deck. Um, and then we have probably the, the best spell card in the and a duck. It's fry for patchwork is a plus one card. Um, add one edge imp monster and one polymerization from your deck to your hand. So that's 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 pretty good. That's really good if you ask me. It's a plus one. So uh, yeah, and then we have two fry for fusion. I like two. I like having two. Uh, some people I've seen some people run one, uh, but I like having two. Uh, just for the reason that like. It's just it's just a so such a free card, honestly. Uh, I don't see a reason why to run one. Uh, if you want to add hand traps, then maybe you would cut it. Um, but I don't really, I don't want the hand traps because it's just a just a casual build. It's not really competitive. Uh, yeah, uh, two polymerization. Uh, this is self-explanatory. It's a fusion deck. You need poly, uh, along with poly, super poly. And they want instant fusion. Uh, you are running uh, Anaconda Verde in the extra deck. Uh, so these are ni nice, nice to have. Uh, and you do run one instant fusion target. And it's a Fright for Monster. So that's always good to have. Uh, this is for consistency. Uh, Foolish Burial sends Toy Bender, which essentially becomes a Rota. So this card basically is a Rota. Um, it's nice to have more layers of consistency once again uh one for one this card is really good when you use it on uh, fluffle mouse uh you you'll plus if you if it goes through uh if your opponent doesn't ash it uh 
you're gonna have a fun time, honestly. Uh, and then, uh, if in case they do, for the hand traps, you have Call by the Grave. So, this deck is an older deck, so it doesn't really react well with uh, hand traps. It just wasn't designed for that. Uh, one Fright for Kraken. I want a second copy, however, I haven't had the need, but I want the second copy, right? But for now, we're, we're just chilling with one. I have one Fry for Sabertooth. I have one coming in the mail. So the third tiger is going to become a uh, Fry for Sabertooth, right? Uh, so just pretend that will be that. Uh, but for now, I only have the three Fry for Tiger, so. But I will end up cutting one to put to replace it with a Sabertooth. Uh, the extra deck will change once the new support comes out. I think it's a fight for whale. Whale. Uh, I'm excited for that. Really is gonna add more place to the to the deck. So yeah. Uh, let's see. These are the cards you you use more the most because they're just the easiest ones to summon out and they have decent effects. These ones get more difficult. Uh, dangerous. You actually you can summon this card fairly easily with a with a. Pfeiffer Fusion, uh, just banishing everything in your graveyard. Uh, this card is uh, also you might you might end up. It's like this is situational. Um, this card is your instant fusion target, and these cards are just here because they're nice to look at. Uh, you don't need them. You can cut them if you want. I just have them in here because they're ultimate rares, and they're nice to look at. So I have them in here. And then for our last five, all right, our all our leftover non. Right for fusion fusion monsters, uh, along with uh, Anaconda Verde. So Anaconda Verde with a super poly target. Uh, Cypress monsters, dark monsters, one dark, one fusion, and then same attribute but different types. Uh, no, no, really explaining there. Self explanatory, if you ask me. But yeah, I mean, this deck is it's so much fun. Um, I can't explain how much fun it is. Uh, I taught it to my girlfriend, and we're gonna be playing with this deck. I'm gonna be having fun with this, so uh, I really do uh, recommend this deck. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun if you do decide to build it. Uh, and if you do decide to build it, let me know what you guys would change from my build because I'm also f barely learning this deck, uh, but it's so much fun. So yeah, just let me know, guys, and until I see you next time. Bye bye.